Alrighty, everybody. We're going to be continuing on this week with the unconventional trio. I've reviewed your physical exam data. There are no particular signs of abnormalities. I nearly panicked when I heard you took on Elder's form, but the numbers are surprisingly stable. Since this, hmm, let's call it fall formation, uses F factors, it's actually reassuring. So, if we could just analyze how it works and apply it broadly, What's puzzling to me is how you got that ability to start with. I know what you mean. Let's focus on the situation in Omega and leave the power study for further analysis later. What I'm getting out of your report is that you basically rolled up and bowled over the Castrum Demonicus and the Emperor. Kind of a flippant way of putting it. Isn't that like a huge deal? Am I off base here? You're not off base at all, Alma. Our friend here's a real freak, no matter how you slice it. Hey, that's not true. They're perfectly normal. Just by the way, Matoy, you fall into uh. the same category. Um, rude. Anyway, what would they say about Alma then? Hey, I'm no good at fighting. Clara's Crace was way better at it than me. What do you call sealing Elder in a planet if not freakish? Was that Clara's craze doing? Actually, that one was me. We kept beating him and beating him and he just kept coming back. We had to lock him down somehow. That whole setup was something I just came up with spur of the moment. Good thing it worked out, huh? Well, the verdict is in. All three of you are freaks. Back to the matter at hand. What's going on with the black hole? Around the same time we got your report, the black hole's expansion velocity started- And that's shrinking? Yep. It felt easier getting you two out this time, too. You're producing results, both numerically and intuitively speaking. Great! Then, we just gotta keep it up in Omega! It's good you're both in high spirits. Just don't push yourselves too hard. You worried about something? It's not that I'm worried. It's more that I'm... concerned about something. When I'm manipulating photons with Alma's assistance, I get this feeling. It's a strange feeling. It's not like any of you, or like Fallspawn. It's like... I have a strange degree of control. Hmm... Xiao and I can't help you there, unfortunately. But if that's the vibe she's getting as the second, it can't be anything good. It's probably something we can't fathom. The appearance of false Hunal defied our expectations, as did your newfound ability to call upon Dark Falls' power. Whatever you do, watch yourselves. If you two don't make it, neither will the rest of us. He's right. If you push yourselves too hard, the second will pass out in fright. Uh, <laughs> that might be a bit of an exaggeration. But really, um, be careful out there. Noise like that ticket. <sighs> Sub story. We meet again.
them halt! Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, pardon me. It's nothing. It's just... For a moment, you looked like Edemholt to me. Please, forget I said anything. Hey, not one goddamn word. You hear? I'm sorry, were you about to say something? Nothing. Would you like to meet Gennemholt? Absolutely. If only I could. If... If only I could see Master Gennemholt one more time. I wish I could tell him what I couldn't bring myself to before. Because uh, I was impersonating my sister, Melfoncina. If I could meet him again, I think I could talk to him as myself. As Melrandia. No, on second thought, I probably couldn't talk to him again. I'd tense up and go completely quiet if I did see him. Sometimes you know just what to say to someone precisely because you know you'll never see them again. We long for our dreams because they are just that, dreams. I'll let that keep me going as I live in the here and now. I still remember the last words he left me with. I still miss him a bit, but I'll be okay. Oh, pardon me. I'm not sure why I rambled on to you about all that. I guess I was just feeling kind of reflective. Sorry to keep you. I'll be going now. You were gonna blow the whole thing. You think you can butt in? <laughs> A minor fever and controlled gaze. the magnitude of me being outside the bridge. Well, you are the overseer and all. Maybe it just didn't phase them because it feels like you're everywhere. But more importantly, I asked you a question, and I don't believe I got an answer. Ah, right. Xiao's up on the bridge right now, so I got permission to move about freely. If Xiao is on the bridge, it means something huge is happening, right? Uh, no, nothing at all like that. Let's see. Slight rise in body temperature, plus nervous glances. You're obviously lying, Sierra. So, 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 so! Who are the new baddies? Where are they? Where, where, where? You must be something pretty big and bad if Xiao's coming along and helping out with operations personally. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, Sierra, your poker face is terrible. So, so, so! Is it the false spawn? Or a new type of baddie like on Earth? Or something else entirely? Ooh! Ooh! Or maybe it's related to that powerful aura inside of you that I'm smelling! Come to think of it, you just had an emergency medical checkup the other day, didn't you? <gasps> Please! Throw me a lifeline! I think she's had enough, Riza. If you insist, I'll shut my trap. I don't want to force you to give away any secrets, but if it's fun, don't keep it from me. That's just cruel. Especially when it comes to that power I can sense inside you. Now that seems like a barrel of fun. So 
something I've never felt before. You simply must let me in on all the fun. Well, it's not as fun as you're making it out to be. Well, sounds like you can't spill all the beans yet. That's fine. But if it starts getting juicy, I want in on it. So don't forget. <laughs> I've never quite felt like my life was in danger while on board the Ark. That's just our psychotic friend there. Risa certainly gives off a more chaotic energy in person than just seeing her in the records. Alma the Fickle. Friendship you have. Uh, didn't you be on the bridge? The bridge isn't the only place I can manifest, you know. Then again, that is the only place with people who can talk to me. No, I'm just taking a stroll. Oh, yes, that's right. Exactly. It's been four decades since I was here last, you know. I'm only looking around, but it's pretty fun taking it all in. Remember, like I said before, I'm not... So as far as anyone else can tell, you're both talking to thin air. You must look pretty bonkers. <laughs> Not here either, huh? Patia under investigation. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. What is it, baby girl? Did you have a nightmare? Did you have a nightmare? <laughs> Whoa, whoa, Ark's legendary guardian? Aww. Walking around peacefully? It was just passed out on the table and she freaked out. Something's brewing. I can feel it in my bones, Tia. Something big is happening. Or maybe they're just... <laughs> what? Daddy and Tia, working hard as usual, I see. Of course we are! Raw gumption is the engine that drives Patia. Ark's number one news source, or the fuel source, one of those. <laughs> Shouldn't information be our engine? What's wrong, baby girl, huh? What's wrong? Anyway, as Patty pointed out, it's not too often we see you two strolling around the ship. You're usually rushing from one place to another with a sense of urgency. Especially... Poor baby girl. I know, right, Tia? Something big is going down. I can just sense it! Calm down, dummy. L don't be silly. Nothing strange is going on. Nope, nothing. My toy, it's not like you to butt in like that. Well, if there's no trouble down here, maybe something's stirring up on the bridge. Is that it? Nothing to see here. Move along. That response is awfully fishy. I knew something was up! If you two thought you could pull the wool over our eyes, think again! Baby girl. We won't expose any sensitive information. 
Everything is made public here anyway, when the timing is right. So, if you're hiding something, it must be for a very good reason. But as informants, we're just itching to know. Is there anything we can do to help? By help, you mean... You two are always overworking yeah. yourselves, so we were hoping we could lend a hand somehow. As ARCs, we're all in this together, aren't we? We're probably not as dependable as you two, but hey, <laughs> who's keeping track? Thanks for your concern, you two. Just hearing you say that really lifts my spirits. <laughs> the pen is mightier than the resta. Come to us whenever you need a break. In moderation, of course. Mm. Getting caught up in a conversation with her can be hazardous to your health. Sticks and stones, sis. Sticks and stones. A strange presence. <laughs> I think someone's after me. Could you keep her away? Here she comes. Meow. Well, looky, looky, look what we have here. I thought I sensed a strange presence, so I followed my instincts, and here I find you. Which could only mean one thing, couldn't it? That you're actually pretty strange. A strange presence? Yes, a very strange presence indeed. Don't you feel it? I just go by my intuition. If that intuition tells me something is fishy, then I'm not mincing words. But this strange feeling isn't exactly bad. It's like the one I get from you. Hang on. Does that mean it was just you this whole time? Oh, well. I was just following it around to kill time. Just a drop in the bucket of time. I suppose I'll be on my way. Do tell whoever's behind that strange presence that Risa said hello. Later! Later, later, How can she sense... <sighs> She's finally gone. That was a breed of scary I've never felt before. If she just sensed something was there, we could have played it off as just her imagination. But she was following me, and she knew it! I guess it's a testament to how confident she is in her senses. Either that, or maybe I stink. <laughs> okay, I guess it's not that. Even if people can't see me, I guess some of them can sense me. Arxops sure are full of surprises. Zeno's story. <laughs> Stop. Don't move. Stay right where you are. That's Dina and that Zeno guy. Oh, they're being awfully chatty. Does it bug you? <laughs> As if. I don't know what lines that Zeno jerk's feeding her. And not knowing pisses me off as all. Looks like they're done talking. Hey, give me your body real quick. Um, is something the matter? Do 
something. You're the one who dragged me over here. Um, excuse me. Are you all right? I don't know anymore. <laughs> You're a bit of a strange one. You remind me a bit of Master Gedimholt. He'd stare at me that same way from time to time. In fact, Zeno and I were just reminiscing about Master Gedimholt and my sister. About Gedimholt? Yes. Sometimes I ask him to fill in the blanks, as it were. Things I didn't know about the two of them. As for what kinds of stories he tells me... Well... I hope you don't mind if I keep that to myself. They're the kind of things that would make Master Gedimholt's blood boil to hear. Or make him red in the face. Your aura somehow reminds me of his today. So, I'll have to keep it a secret from you as well. So, that's settled. Well then, till we meet again. Bastard! What the hell kinds of ideas is he giving Dia? Hey, we're gonna go smash that loser into the ground right now! Move aside! I'm no. taking over! Come on, man. Right time to get married. Huh? This is gonna get really weird. Hey there. Hard at work as always, I see. Why don't you try working for once? You're supposed to be training recruits, big bad instructor man. What can I do? Regius and Maria are so gung-ho, I don't have a chance to train anybody. Uh-oh. Did Maria sneak back into the training bureau to get away from general affairs? I'll bet Sarah is furious. S Sierra? Aren't you supposed to be manning the bridge? I'm fine. One thing led to another, and I scored clearance to wander the ship. Now that I think about it, you always call into our command meetings instead of showing up, Sierra. Hmm, what bothers me more is how you suddenly started attending all the meetings. <laughs> because you don't take notes. Consider me your bona fide secretary, mister. face to face makes you realize things like what Zeno Echo why haven't you two gotten married yet one of our greatest mysteries see everyone's been thinking it now that I see you together it's so obvious hold on now marriage is Sierra this isn't something to just rush into the way you two act together, you're practically uh. already. But listen, timing, planning, and commitment are very important when making these kinds of big decisions. What the hell? Wanna get married? <laughs> what? Huh, you don't want to, Echo? No, 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 no. That's that's not it. I mean, is that what you want? Getting married? To me? Jeez, where'd all your confidence go? Who would I marry other than you? Are you sure you want this? I might end up being a big jerk with your assignments. <laughs> you already are. Yeah, I guess I am. Okay then, let's go get the papers signed before you change your mind. 
Sheesh, I don't change my mind that easy. Well, take it easy, you two. Oh, and thanks, Sierra. Oh my gosh! Did I just... get them into a huge mess? Uh, you did a good thing. Maybe I did, but never in my wildest dreams did I expect this to happen so quickly. Oh my gosh! I'm really getting embarrassed now! I just witnessed something completely mind-blowing! An informant with good news. This just in! I've got breaking news! Recent reports haven't been as accurate as we'd like, but we have a stellar announcement! It's about that couple everyone hoped would hurry up and make a move for so long. You guessed it! Zeno and Echo! They're finally, finally, finally getting married! I know. What? How they I was there. Echo already told us, so... yeah. Usually marriage isn't that newsworthy, but those two are different. Especially with Zeno on the Council of Six. The hottest couple around is finally taking that next step! Telling the world about it makes my job worth it! With Ark so focused on fighting, we tend to forget about family life, so this is pretty significant. Moments like these make you stop and think, someday I'll find that special someone, and oh, I'm super jealous! You want to get married someday? Of course! I'm an old-fashioned girl! Walking down the aisle's my dream! Potential grooms get grooming! Who exactly are you talking to? Tia acts like she doesn't care, but when she was a young girl, she dreamed of hearing those wedding bells ringing, too. <sighs> that was between... <laughs> And that concludes another episode of Tia's Innermost Secrets. I'm your host, Patty, signing off. I guess I'd better get going too, so... <sighs> Listen up, dumbass. Tell another soul about that, and you will wish <laughs> you knew me. Alrighty. Thank you again for joining me this 